Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a little bit of prop hunt. This is on the Lichcraft, Lichcraft server. I really like it. I'm a rank elite. It's fun to play. So I'm going to be doing some prop hunt. I'm sorry if I'm a little boring. It's just, that's what it is. I'm not that much of a talkative person. This is my first video, so it is what it is. But I'll try to keep you guys happy and hope you guys like it. As for right now, we'll just be waiting. We have 40 seconds. And for those of you who don't know what prop hunt is, it's where there's a seeker. He has full diamond armor. He has a diamond sword, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. And the seekers go around trying to find the other players that are hidden. And they hide as blocks. They don't hide as normal people. Because I'd just give them away. That's where it gets prop hunt out of it for the name. Also, you are hidden as a specific block. If you don't have enough points where it gives you the points in the game, you are hidden at random. See, I'm the first seeker. So that's not that fun. I like to, I like to hide. But as you can see, I actually have a stone sword. You also get more than just it, a stone sword. And you see what your goal to do here is your goal is to find the blocks as you see those are actually players and your goal is to kill them I've already killed two no three so you also get points for killing people that results in being able to buy your own like prop from then on or you could do it temporary. I actually haven't done that yet because I'm still saving up points. But once I do that, I will be able to buy one. And I will do so. I don't know what I'm going to buy yet, but I will. As you can see, wait, what just happened? Wait, never mind. But there's blocks here, and that's grass. This map is sort of hard to find. A, if you're grass block, you're kind of screwed. Get in front of him. No. The only thing I hate about this is that they can double team you. That just gets annoying. Yeah. I about halfway through this. I just try you also try to get more seekers which are by happens by killing them. When that happens, there's more chances of you being found if you are a hider. Or, yeah, they call it hiders. I, I really like doing this because it's fun. And I like to mess with people. It's quite fun to do that. And also, I also like to play Skyblock and the survival. Unfortunately, there will be resetting survival soon. So, other than, it's a little disappointing. But other than that, it's going to be fun. I recommend this server for all you guys, and I'm sorry that it's really bad quality, if it is, and I'm also sorry that the audio couldn't, could be better. I don't have my headphones with me, I'm using my brother's, and I'm using an old auxiliary cord that has a horrible mic. But anyways, let's just get through this, and you'll, if you have already played this, you got to admit with me, it's pretty fun. No, get over here. You got to be careful though with your food bar because if you don't have enough food, you can't run, and then the hiders can easily get away from you. No, not what I want. And like they could be hiding anywhere, which is really annoying. It could be like this tree, but obviously it's not going to be there because I played this map multiple times. For those of you who have not been on Lichcraft at all, ever, it's a really fun server. They have a bunch of new things to play. They have Sky Wars, which is uh, it's pretty much PvP, but it's Skyblock. And those of you who don't know what Skyblock is, it's where you have a small island. And what you do is you build your island off of what they give you. You can also buy things. And in the next video, if I do make one, 
it will be showing the sky block and what happens. And what I won't be able to show you what you start with because I've already made a shop and everything that people can buy from and I don't want to restart from there because it took me months to make. Because I actually started right when they reset. So it was actually a little bit stressful but it was actually kind of nice because I actually did not want to have like as big of an island as I had before and I also made a better shop so it worked out for the better for me and obviously that guy has died I will also try to get more people to do this with me maybe have like a Skype call or something even though I don't use Skype as much as I would hope to but other than that or I could use FaceTime anything works and yeah it's a very fun game it's interactive because when I first got it about a year ago Minecraft I mean it was just boring I didn't have anything to do and then I realized hey well I should start looking at servers so I was looking at them and then my friend told me about Litchcraft and I'm like it seems okay at first but then once you started getting into it I'm like this is actually one of the best servers I've ever played it's actually, to be honest, one of the most rec renowned Minecraft servers out there. And also, what's nice about it is if you vote for the server, they have it on the Minecraft on the Lishcraft homepage, which is Lishcraft.com. They will be you'll be able to get four thousand dollars. Not for there's four voting pages, one thousand for each voting page, and it's four thousand dollars total in game cash. If you're lucky, you can get an actual rank like. I mine was thirty five dollars in real life, but since it was on sale, I got it for twenty five dollars because it was Christmas week. So you know, whatever. I wanted a rank, and my dad said, "Okay." So if you are, if you actually vote, you could be lucky enough to be able to earn a rank, or I sh actually don't earn ranks. But what happens is you earn actually in li like real cash. And that cash is used in those stores, like on the service store. You could buy like, for a skyblock, if you have enough, you can buy like a spawner, which is like 15 bucks, I believe. I haven't checked, but, oh, it's over. But other than that, you can do a lot more. This is the server. Since I am a rank, I'll be able to go into this option, and I'll do fly to show you. And... Sorry, my computer's laggy. There's survival, factions, this is Skyblock, Skygrid. I don't like Skygrid in my opinion. It's just, to me, it's just weird. I don't understand it. The Sky Wars, I'll actually get into a little bit. The war, it's fun. It's pretty much like two teams facing each other, and the team that gets the most points wins. Hunger Games, based off the movie. It's quite obvious. And to be honest, I'm actually just going to show you this right now. I don't want to make a separate video. And, okay. This is one of the most renowned players' shop. What happens is you have chess, and it's the plug-in chess shop. And if it's in stock, he was able to make it where the redstone, tor the redstone lamps, I'm sorry, I have the plug-in, so it's a little weird, but the redstone lamps will be lit up if it's in stock. Where, see this iron ingot? It's yeah, that is iron. If I go to here to Brown Viper and try to buy an ingot out of stock, if I go to here, buy an iron ingot, I buy it. It tells you that it's in stock, which is very nice. And yes, I have a derpy Superman skin. Okay. And for those who who have been on Skyblock, this is Skyblock One, and this is my shop. It's Warp MC Universe or AM underscore PM. That was my friend's. This, that was my friend's name. He decided that. And since I'm still constructing this, I have a beacon in the middle there covered by glowstone. I'm trying to make it like that so it looks like this part is actually supporting the framework that's there. And I have a fountain in the middle. I, I don't like how it does this. It's annoying. 
But then I also have, I'm going to be getting more bone meal to fix it because I haven't done it here. But what is going to happen is it's going to be look like a garden underneath. And in each of these little rooms, I haven't set this one up yet. But what's going to happen here is this is going to be like a little donation shop. Each one, there's going to be six chests for me and six chests for my friend. And we'll have them like stuffed with sticks that you can buy. You can donate them back to us if you want to the spawn area. And that would be actually greatly appreciated if you do do that. This is the lava pit. It's used for if you have unnecessary items. Say you actually have like the sticks and you want to throw them away. You can do that there. Also, here's the spawn room. This took me a while to build because it got annoying. The, ga the glass panes are very expensive. Same with glass. The lava in the water is not as expensive. This texture pack is pretty laggy. It does do that sometimes. But you spawn in this room, you're facing this way. And this is the, the room. They have donation hoppers here that are connected to chests. All I do is remove them and I get access to the chest. And yeah. So that's pretty much it for Skyblock. And I'll just show you what you start out with real quickly. All right, let's get down. If you are a rank, you can do slash jump, and you'll be able to jump down or jump up to where you do it. It just teleports you to, like, wherever you are aiming. Like, wherever the little X is in your screen, the little plus sign, that's where you would teleport. No. I freaking hate creepers. Good thing about Skyblock, though, is that you do not destroy blocks. Yeah, I just have that. You know what? Hold on. Sorry about this. So what happens is, you start off with something about the size of this rectangle. It's a, uh, let me make sure, it's a f three, three. It's about a, it's 64 blocks of dirt, and also 12 blocks of dirt, and four blocks of sand. It's in a rect, it's in an L-shaped pattern with a tree and a chest. The chest I don't have anymore, but it's filled with some seeds, some melon seeds, some pumpkin seeds, two buckets of water, a bucket of lava, and a few other things. I'm not 100% sure. What I've done to this is I've expanded out. I bought cobblestone in the shop, and I'll show you the spawn, and I just expanded it out. Over there, I have like some acacia wood, I believe it's pronounced that. So here's some furnaces. Yeah, I know they look like ovens, but... It, it's a modern, it's the modern HD texture pack, so I like it. And here I have some cocoa beans, just some jungle wood. I haven't expand, I haven't fixed this yet because I've been too lazy. And yeah, this is an AFK farm, not farm, like a pool. Like if you just sit in here, it takes you around. And if you put a block here, it'll actually take you up. So you just keep going around whenever I'm AFK. I just sit in there. Each one of these is, actually not all of them, but most of them are filled with tools or food and such. There used to be dirt in here to grow these pumpkins, and there used to be water, but I got griefed. Everything, nothing in this, in the world is unhackable. So that's a little bit, that's the only thing that you should be worried about in this Otherwise, in shops, they can't spam you without actually buying stuff or being able to actually get access to your chests. Hold on. Oh, they changed the stuff for Skyblock. I haven't been on Skyblock in about a week. As you can tell, I have $96,000. And I, that's how you get the money. You just keep voting. And how am I not doing well here? And if you do Warp MC Universe, which is mine, I just do that. You can also hit up on the D-pad. Or not the D-pad, I'm so used to playing Xbox, even though I don't have time anymore. If you hit the up arrow, you can scroll back to whatever you recently typed, which is nice. But other than that, that's pretty much everything for Skyblock. No. I'm horrible at typing right now. You can also do this, whatever you, where you see I'm typing, Survival Survival. 
and it should take some time, but usually it's instant, and it should load up the server. If you have to do it again, just be patient. By the way, before, since while it loads, I'm going to be able to hook up the chest here, the trap chest, and it will sure, for sure will work. And it will have a comparator, I believe, and it will be attached to the redstone lamp. When it's once it's attached, it will light up if it's in stock or out of stock. Another way you could do it is if you know it's in stock, you can go behind it, put a lever, and whenever it's in stock, you just flip the switch. That's the easiest way. It's also the cheapest way. But, I actually, but I'm thinking about doing that, but I also don't want to be able to have to flip the switch on or off. That would just get annoying. So it looks like this is being a butt. And I'm going to try it again. No, shut up. Sorry about this. Hold on. Yes, I am using a Mac right now. Okay, I'm going to do this. Disconnect multiplayer. All right, that works. And as a donator, you can do fly. You can do all these. Like, the rave mode is actually kind of cool. It would be better without the texture pack, but, like, each of... Each piece of armor, it would be leather, it would change color, like the dye would change. That's where they get the rave mode. And I'll show you the survival thing real quickly. Just just want to get you guys who have not been pl able to play Glitchcraft familiar with it. Because I really, in my opinion, everybody should play this server. And Lich Z is not up yet. I don't know what happened to it because I was not here when it went down. But it's apparently I heard it's pretty it's a pretty good server. It looks like survival server is actually down right now, so no, I don't want to go factions. So I'll just show you the um, Sky Wars. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna end it here. I'll do that in another video. So alright, guys, hope you like it. If you can, please subscribe. It will be my. It, I don't have a like an actual name for my account yet. But once I do, if you can, please subscribe. That would be great. And let's see how many likes we can get on this first video. All right? Thank you, guys. And well, I'm not used to doing this as my first video. I'll see you guys later. All right? Bye.